Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm a man from CatSharp LLC and today I'm going to be demoing the SOLIDWORKS property manager page or PMP Sandbox. This is a great tool that we've developed internally at CatSharp to help anyone who works with PMPs or property manager pages in SOLIDWORKS. As you may already know, um, writing a PMP is sometimes can be a challenging task. It takes a lot of time just to put a simple PMP and add a couple of controls. And this can lead to a lot of headache in terms of debugging and development time. So without further ado, let's just jump into the tool and let's uh, make a, a simple uh, PMP document. The PMP Sandbox tool looks pretty much like the Visual Studio and that's where we've taken our, our inspiration from. Uh, to begin or to start a new document, let's just go ahead and go to File, New. And since I'm going to be using the VBA version or the free version, I will not be able to create a PMP a document in C-sharp, VB.net, or C++. For that matter, C++ is not supported at this moment. With the free version, you only get VBA. So we'll talk about the limitations of the free version and what you do get with our premium license. Let's go ahead and create a new PMP. Let me just uh, name this to simply just PMP and click on OK. So you can see that the uh, design area here has changed. The toolbox, uh, we do have a number of controls here, beginning with the group box that has been enabled. The remainder of the controls remain un uh, unenabled until, uh, or rather, sorry, disabled until we can add a group box. And that's exactly what you get with a SOLIDWORKS property manager page. Uh, right here, um, we do have the design area and we have a, a small preview of the header of uh, the uh, PMP. If we just click on this, we will get a list of properties here uh, that we can change. Um, we can change the the name of the class that will be appearing in the code area. We can change the title that appears here. Let me just do that right now real quick. I'll change that to PMP. We can choose to have, sorry, in the options to add the uh, cancel, OK, or the push and lock button, or uh, also to uh, have that the state of the PMP has been or not. So you can see that without actually writing any code, uh, we can pretty much set the uh, look and feel of the PMP and we do get a visual appreciation here in the design area. Now let's uh, go ahead and simply add a group box. And as we click on the group box, uh, we do see the other controls have been, uh, have been enabled. Let me now add a label, let's just do that. And let me make a few changes to the group box right here. I'm just gonna uh, keep the name and change the caption to message and I'm going to click on the label and simply uh, keep the name again and just make a small change to the caption here and let's change that to hello PMP. And let's click on enter to have those uh, changes be reflected in the design area I can choose to add another group box and let's do that and let's change the caption here to controls and what I am going to do click on enter to uh, have that change there um, I'm going to simply add just a couple of controls here just to show the functionality looks like we have reached the maximum number allowed in the free version actually you only get 10 controls in the free version and to unlock the unlimited number of controls you would need to get a, a premium license. Now that we have basically uh, created a very simple property manager page, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get a, a visual appreciation of that in SOLIDWORKS. So uh, we can click on start and this is going to launch the latest version of SOLIDWORKS uh, on your computer and, and we'll create a PMP, a property manager page in a random document. So let's do that. Uh, it's noting here that it's starting SOLIDWORKS. It's running right now. So if I switch to SOLIDWORKS here, let's give it a second. All right. All right. You can see that we basically have our controls added: the message box and uh, the uh, label. The rest of the controls, the list box, uh, the selection box, etc. If we close SOLIDWORKS, and I'm going to say that rather 
I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to close this document per se. We just minimize this. And let's just stop it here. And that will basically end the debug mode. We can generate code for this. So we can simply go to regenerate code. And this will basically generate the the VBI class code here that you would need to write in, uh, in, in the VBI editor to have this rather PMP. You can see that there is a lot of code that is here. If you want to try this over in SOLIDWORKS, uh, let's just do that. Okay, so you do have the preconditions here. Uh, there are a number of instructions on how to use this in VBA. So let's just copy the code and let's just uh, launch SOLIDWORKS again. It's going to take a few seconds. Let's just wait. All right, let's create a random document and you can create any of these three. It doesn't matter actually. Let me just create a part. Um, what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna to go to tools here. I already have a macro skeleton ready, so I'm just gonna use it. Let me just put this here. So what we have here is a very simple macro. We've defined SW uh, app as the SOLIDWORKS application as public and not with them because we're going to be needing that in the PMP class here. Um, but then we are defining an object of type PMP class and then we are setting that object to a new instance of the class and then just invoking the method show. If we go here and basically we have, if I minimize here, this is just an old PMP that I've created. What we're going to do is simply copy this and paste it over here. So let's just do that. Let me select everything and just paste. And now we can just click on run to see those changes. I'm going to run the main method. And if you switch back to switch back to SOLIDWORKS, then we do get the PMP that we had created in the in our sandbox. All right. Um, let's close SOLIDWORKS and uh, with that the VB editor will also be closed. Uh, we can basically click on any control right here and we can make changes we can make changes to uh, any of the properties uh, that you would normally do when you're writing a PMP in Visual Studio or in, in the VBA editor can also change the positioning of the PMP and every time you do a change you need to regenerate the code and copy paste that into Visual Studio or the VB editor. As I said earlier on uh, the limit for uh, the number of controls is limited to 10 controls including the uh, group boxes and with the with a premium license you get um, the uh, uh, you get C sharp VB.net and of course VBA and you get also an, un an unlimited number of controls that you can uh, play with. I think this should cover the basics of uh, the, uh, the SOLIDWORKS uh, PMP sandbox. If you need more information, then you can simply go to um, catchup.com. You can also send me an email to emin at catchup.com and we can just take it from there. Um, this tool will be, will be available for download very soon. It will be available in two versions, the free one and the license and the premium one. The premium one won't require you to have an internet connection at all the times. With all the necessary information found at catchhub.com, feel free to visit us there and uh, we wish you a very happy uh, sandboxing. This was Aman from Catchhub. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.